auto man Brian Bauer Sock is on vacation this weekend, but he did stop by our studio this past week because he wanted to make sure all of our San Diego 6 viewers are checking their transmission fluid and filter. Here's his tips for this Saturday morning. All right, it's time to ask the one and only, our auto man, about transmission maintenance. Brian Bowersock of West Escondido Auto is here with us today. Good morning. Good morning, Brian. Um, okay, let's start at A. <laughs> we'll go A, A through Z. I want to start by saying, you know, why asking, why is it so important to maintain your transmission? I'm not somebody who gets under my car every day and Correct. understands all these things. So tell me, first of all, the importance of maintaining this. Number one, transmissions are one of the most forgot about things. Most mm -hmm. people, when they think about servicing their vehicle, obviously change the engine oil, oil and filter yeah. and stuff, yeah, and have the other fluids looked at. Um, what happens with transmission fluid, it breaks down from heat and temperature. And you do know we're going into the summer, mm -hmm. temperatures get extremely high here and mm -hmm. it causes the fluid to break down. Well with the transmission, the most, the highest cause of failure on them is contaminated fluid from dirty and uh, overheating the transmission. And it doesn't take very many miles when you're having a problem with the transmission as far as contaminated fluid, dirty, cause a valve to stick, okay. a solenoid, or something like that that can cause a quick demise of the transmission. So what are the things we should be looking for um, to know if we need to go in and get some maintenance on our transmission? Obviously, we should probably keep it up all the time, but Correct. is there any type of hints we should look for and say, hey, that's probably my transmission? Well, if you have a problem with the transmission, um, Transmissions these days are electronically mm -hmm. controlled, so you do have an overdrive light. Typically, overdrive light flashes, or you get a check engine light could be related to the transmission also. But what we want to try to prevent is that from ever happening. Okay. So if you service the transmission between 15 and 18,000 miles on a regular service interval, it actually keeps it quite clean and will almost double extend the life of the transmission, believe it or not, we've found. So every 15 to 18,000 miles, you're yes, saying? What? How many months are we talking about? Well, it just depends on your driving, driving. habits because um, um, unlike a combustion engine that mm -hmm. collects um, dirt and contaminates from the motor running, um, transmission fluid does not do that. What it does do is continually clean the inside of the transmission. So over mileage and wear is when it starts to get dirty, get small pieces of contaminants, of clutch material and things like that caught up in it that need to be removed and replaced with a new filter and transmission fluid. Okay, you brought some stuff with you today. Let's Absolutely. talk about some of this stuff because this is all part of transmission service and probably some things we can maybe do at home maybe. Possibly, maybe? possibly. If, <laughs> if you don't we're mind, skilled, you could get a bath. It's Not me, <laughs> but maybe some other people at home. Absolutely. Right? Um, number one, we have transmission fluid. Obviously, this is clean and extremely dirty. Oh, wow. Those are the extents they can go to. But I've also brought examples of there's a lot of different manufactured transmission fluids now, and it's extremely important to use the proper fluid. Mm -hmm. Most manufacturers have gone to a semi-synthetic or a synthetic type of fluid and if you cross breed them with other fluids you can cause transmission failure. So oh. if you're going to do this on your own make sure you're make installing sure you with the manufacturer. Correct, right? absolutely. <laughs> Replace the filter always because it's okay. what catches the contaminants um, and put the proper fluid in and basically as far as maintenance that's pretty much all you can do for a transmission okay. but it's the greatest thing you can do for it because it will extend the life of it. Okay, we're talking about transmission obviously but as you already mentioned summertime any other last minute tips for drivers out there right now on the roads um, as our temperatures right now aren't ex you know extremely warm but they will get warm in August and absolutely. September any other tips for absolutely viewers? get your vehicle in get it checked out especially mm -hmm. the cooling system all the fluids checked things like that mm -hmm. get the transmission serviced if you haven't done it in a while um, the small maintenance things will extend components on your vehicle and prevents you from having those unexpected breakdowns while you're out on a family vacation. That's always the key. Okay, Brian Bowersock, thank you so much for being here. If you have a question, a uh, car question for Brian, drop him an email. The link is on our website, sandiego6.com. You can just click on Hot Topics. All right, thanks for stopping by, Brian. Glad to be here.